Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hello, good evening, good evening. Good evening. Hey, hey, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. I like that. Uh, how was your day? In my case, very busy. Really? You had a lot of work? Yes, a lot of work today, teacher. <laughs> Oh, that's very good. That's very good. A lot of work, a lot of money. A lot of work, not enough money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's not fair. That's not fair. Okay. All right, guys, um, I would like for you to tell me uh, what information do you remember from the previous class? What information do you remember from the previous class? Who can tell me? One volunteer, one volunteer. Okay, so we looked at this activity uh, referring to the simple past for the irregular verbs. We're going to do a review. Ready? Action. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense, plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice, the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, D 
the auxiliary didn't plus verb in the present plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements. Okay, at this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to this video? This is a review from yesterday's class. Any questions? Teacher, podría repetir nuevamente la tarea. Era escribir una oración en el positivo y en el negativo. For example, let me give you an example. When you said do, is the simple present. Did is the simple past. Por ejemplo, usted dice, eh, yo hice mi tarea. ¿Cómo lo voy a decir? Yo hice mi tarea. ¿Cómo lo voy a decir? I am, I I am work. Mm -hmm. I am, no. I did my I homework. Did Very my good. Home. I did my homework. Okay. Ahora en negativo. I I, I didn't, 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 didn't do didn't do uh -huh, uh -huh. I didn't my homework. Do. Very good. I didn't do my homework. All right. So me iban a dar eh, una oración negativa y una positiva utilizando por lo menos tres verbos de acá. O sea, dos oraciones de cada verbo. Una positiva y una negativa. Pero usted iba a elegir tres de estos verbos. Esa era la tarea. Any more questions? Do you have another question? No question. Ok. Oh. So, esa fue la actividad de ayer. Today, I would like for us to continue. Y las va a poner acá en la discussion forum. Son seis oraciones, tres positivas, tres negativas. Okay, knowledge check 4.9. Instructions. Complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verbs in the past tense. Number one, mm, you have a good summer. Did. Did. Very Did. good. Did you have a good summer? Tuviste un buen verano? Excellent. So I want you to do these two. You have three minutes. Three minutes in pairs. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. ¿Cuál sección es esa? La... Eh, la... Ya te digo. 4.9. Punto 
En la, en la vez hay Javier, ¿verdad? Eh, sí, sí. La primera es la TIT, que es la que el teacher. Uh -huh. Y en la otra. Es, tercera es hay. Hay. I do. I did, or I didn't. Tengo duda. Mm. Pongamos I did. No me gusta ir a la playa mucho, dice. I didn't, I did not, sería. I didn't go. Uh. No, está mala. También la segunda. También la segunda es la mala. Aquí. Aquí dice tuve un ver, no tuve un verano. Genial sería ah, ID. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Aquí creo que ese sería Big No. Tampoco. Ajá, es que ya está utilizando Dick en la oración, entonces creo que no. No deberíamos de ponérselo ya. Porque dice, yes, I did, I... Estaba poniendo Hello, hello. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hey, how are you? How are you? Teníamos una, teníamos una duda, pero ya, ya resolví. Yo me había equivocado. Ah, oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Okay. Gracias. Okay. 8.5 de 8.5. Mm -hmm. Quiero ver. Yes, coma. I did. Punto. I took take. Tenis lesson. La conversación 4. Oh, I did you speak English last summer. Hablas inglés. In this case, it's a question. Did you speak? So, did. Mm -hmm. Speak. Did All right, number two. Yes, I, have. I did. I had, I have. had a I great have. summer. Have. B, I, I went, went a lot. I went. went to the beach a lot. I went. Excellent. Conversation number two. Did you? Go. Go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. Go. I stayed. Stayed. Very good. Stayed. I got. 
got a part-time job. Conversation number three. Did you? Take. Take. Any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I? Took. Took. Tennis lessons and I played tennis yeah. every day. Number four. Did you? Speak. 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 Speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I? Read. 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 English books, and I? Watched. Watched. Watched English movies. Watched. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Eh, ¿Quién tiene ese ruido? Ok, Verónica. Ok, por favor mantenga su bocín. Eh, Verónica, mantenga su speaker en silencio, por favor. All right. 4.10. Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple past. Yes, no questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas con respuesta corta, sí y no, en pasado simple. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. Simple past, yes, no questions. Listen to the video, please. Listen to the video, please. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Let's check it out. Please take notes. Tome apuntes. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark, a good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively 
by saying yes I did or negatively by saying no I didn't. In our example we can see that the question was answered positively yes I did then extra information is given I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject. Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra information is given. They went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, now, what I would like for us to do on this activity is let's look. I'd like for you to think about your last vacation. Oh, turned into. I want you to write five questions, five questions and share them in the discussion forum right here. Now, you're going to use questions like, um, did you like your last vacation? Did you eat delicious food? Did you wear a swimsuit? Did you visit your mom? Did you go to the beach? Whatever, whatever. Questions about the last vacation. Five examples. Then I want you to write the examples here on the discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions at this moment? No, teacher. Does somebody mm -hmm. have a question at this moment? No. All, all right, all right. You will have five minutes. Five minutes. Ready? Okay. Uh, did you travel during your vacation? You travel? Oh, excuse me. Uh, did you travel during your vacations? Okay. 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 Podría ser Okay. 
I have another if you like. <laughs> Tenemos que hacer negativos también, ¿verdad? Eh, yes, but the answer es la, la respuesta a la negativa, ¿no? O sea, usted aquí, aquí okay. puede decir si sí, lo hice o no lo hice. O sea, did you have, did you travel during your vacation? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Ok. Ok, podría uh -huh. ser otra. Did. I have another a sentence. Ok. Ok. Uh -huh. I did the red, the June, the hat. Tal, tal vez una podría ser did you, we, did, did you have a good weekend? O sea, si tuviste un buen fin de semana, no sé. Sí, está bien. Sí. Podría incluirse. Ajá. No, I didn't. Okay, what do you say? Did you, did they, did they? Did they? Did they exercise on Saturday? Podría ser. Ellos hicieron ejercicio el sábado. Hola. Did they do exercise on Saturday? Do exercise, por ahí. Mm -hmm. Yes, they. Yes, yes they did. ¿Qué otro podría ser? Son cinco, sí, verdad. Eh, okay. Cinco. Did you read the Did you read any interesting book during your vacations? Sí, sí. Okay. Did you read? Did... Perdón. No, read, porque es el presente. Yes. Did you read uh, any interesting book during your vacation? Sí. Yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Okay. Okay. No, I didn't. Correcto. Podría ser otra vez, pues, pero bien. Did, did she? This, this she, podría ser this she, do, do a student. Um, No, did you, did, did she study? Did she study, correcto. Uh -huh. Did you study? Uh -huh. English during, you, during her uh -huh. vacation. Ajá, uh -huh. correcto. Uh -huh. Ok, podría ser. Ok, did she study English she? during mm -hmm. her vacation? Her vacation. No, she did. Mira, no, she did. 
¿Qué otra podría ser? Este. Podría ser, did we, did we, did we play soccer in the morning? Nosotros jugamos fútbol en la mañana. Podría. Sí, 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 se oye bien. Para practicar todos los verbos, ¿verdad? Ay, you, she, he. We. Esos son los, los pronombres. Los pronombres, perdón, sí. Estoy... <ríe> los pronombres. Yes, we did. No sé, aquí tiene otra. Hola. Ajá. ¿Cuántas nos pidió el teacher? Cinco. Hay cinco. Cinco. Ya te damos como seis, ¿verdad? ¿no? Perfecto. Gracias. Ok. Ok. Eh, lo que yo no sé es si teníamos que completar, eh, o sea, las respuestas. Sí, o sea, no es. No, no, sé, no respuestas didn't... simples. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Yo creo que solamente la respuesta. Bueno, podemos hacer, podemos hacer una, dejar una simple y otra ya con el complemento, ¿verdad? Yes. Sí, sí, sí. se podría. In the first example. Did you travel during your vacation? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh -huh. I, did. I went to uh, Guatemala. With my family, sí. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sí, sí, yes, yes. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Uh, guys, is everybody finished or do you need more mm -hmm. time? Uh, I need more time. I need more time. Oh. Okay, okay. I'm going to give you five more minutes in pairs. Mother. Your mother. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Did your mother cook? Cooking or cook? Um, cocina or cocina? Cook? Eh, cocina. 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 Cook. Cook. Uh -huh. Did, uh -huh. your cook? Did your mother cook the, cook the dinner? Yo digo que sí. Help me, teacher. Hello, teacher. Lo veo que está ahí, pero no, no lo puse. Your mother cook a diner. Eh, lo podemos poner, eh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Ok. ¿Cuántas negativas tenemos? Una, teníamos dos y dos, ¿verdad? Two. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. sí. Ok. Te dije, yes. yes, yes, she did. Okay, uh-huh, yes. 
Sí, porque estamos hablando de yes, ella. De ella, sí. Ajá, yes, yes, she did. She did. Uh -huh. Ok. Va, entonces, eh, sería... Eh, Marta Luz. Ya las tiene usted. No se le escucha. Active ahí el, el micrófono. El micrófono. Ok, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Disculpe, no había visto la pantalla, estaba... <risa> sí, eso. Eh, no, no las he hecho todavía. Eh, ¿Las podemos compartir? Sí. Ya las hicimos las yeah. cinco. Yes. ¿Te gusta uh, copia? Okay. Para que le queden a usted también ahí. Ok. Ok, diga. La number one. Ajá. Uh Ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. Did you like a party? Did you like? Did you like a party? A party. Yes, I did. I like a party. Yes, I did. I like a party. And number two. Uh huh. Did you visit it? Did you visit it? Appearance on the weekend. Appearance of the weekend. On the weekend. On the weekend. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. And number three. Uh huh. Did you drink a coffee? Yes, I did drink okay. a coffee. Yes, I did. Drink a coffee. Drink a coffee. Drink a coffee. At number four. Uh huh. Number four. Did Jose? Did Jose? Watch the movie. Watch the movie. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. En negativo. Ajá. Ok. No, he didn't. Number, number five. Did your mother... Did your mother... Cook the dinner? Cook the dinner? Yes, she did. Yes, she? She did. Mm -hmm. No sé si usted quiere hacer alguna aportación. Vamos a ver. Did your father? Ok, se me sale. Eh, vamos a ver. Did your father stay at home? Stay at home. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está mal. <laughs> no, he didn't.
Está bien esa. Yo digo que sí. Sí, yo digo que sí. Ok. Seis. ¿Cuántas eran? Eran cinco. Eran cinco. Ah, sí, tenemos seis. Sí. Seis para que practicara Marta Luz. <risa> <risa> Yo estaba bien escribiendo, no la había visto. No, no se preocupe. <risa> Estaba, lo que pasa. Ajá. Sí. Diga, lo que pasa es que a veces uno no ve, eh, cuando está en el teléfono no ve, ¿verdad? Cuando ah. está... <risa> sí. Con los audífonos en los oídos no se ve el que está enfrente. Puede estar uno <risa> escribiendo. Ajá. Did you need more time? También. Did you need? Did you need more time? Okay. More time? Yes, I need. Sería yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did sería. Did you I did, need I did. Uh -huh. more time? Yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. Eh, tengo una pregunta. Fíjense de que yo no, no había podido este, entrar a la plataforma a hacer unos hacer los ejercicios que aparecen ahí, los como exámenes. Las de la unidad 4. Ajá, no de la unidad todavía, de la sección 2 todavía estoy. Este, y pero he estado haciéndolos, pero no puedo hacer porque ya no me aparece la, la eh, para enviar. Eh, pida, pide ayuda al, al, ¿cómo se llama? Al, soporte al soporte técnico. técnico ellos le ayudan ah ok ya les había pasado eso a ustedes antes a mí no me pasó en pero en mi caso no igual que a mí no pero sí la vez pasada a unos compañeros les pasó pidieron ayuda en soporte técnico y sí les ayudaron como que ah. les abrieron de nuevo la, la plataforma ah ok gracias All right, all right. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Okay. Um, now, si no ha terminado, le queda de tarea. Any questions at this moment? Preguntas en este momento? No, teacher. Somebody, 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 nobody? Okay. We're going to look at the knowledge check. Unscrabble the questions. Unscrabble the questions by putting the words in the correct order. Remember to type the question mark. Example, have you did summer a good? Did you have a good summer? Y tiene que poner el símbolo de pregunta, interrogativo. For example, watch television did you last night? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Did you watch television last night? Television last night. Y el símbolo de pregunta. Correct. Did you watch television last night? All right. So you have one, two, three. Estas tres. Any questions? No. 
No. No, no, no. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Hi, hi. Me cambiaron la sensibilidad. Disculpame. Porque. Vaya, escribámonos si gusto. Si yo. Yo acompañé el ejercicio. Perdóname. Ah, bueno, está bien. Tatiana, usted también. No, ahorita lo sé. Estoy ayudando. Bien. Night. La segunda es Did you have dinner last night? Uh, did you? Did you? Did you have, have, have dinner last night? Dinner. Night. La tercera es, did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? yesterday. No, pero no tengo una pregunta. Y el otro es, did they, go, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to movies on Wednesday? Bueno, no me salió. Permíteme, solo una palabra. Me equivoqué aquí en la última. One mistake. Did they, they go to movies on Wednesday? Me salió. Ahorita, permítame que la última palabra fue en este, me sale como error y no sé por qué. Pero vean. Bueno, este. Sí, hoy sí ya me salió. Thank you. Uh, did you A saber que escribí mal en la primera. A veces por una palabra, no soy. Mami, mira, estas dos son de Josué. Ya le salieron las dos. Eh, solo una, se la estoy escribiendo la última, no le había puesto las night, por eso no me salió. 
A medianoche, ¿verdad? Significa last night. Sí. Ah, sí. Era una palabrita que me hacía falta. You have dinner last night. Sí, listo. Gracias. Si gusta, repetimos las oraciones para mientras. Las preguntas. No sé qué dicen. Más, está bien. Sería de you watch television last night. Mm -hmm. Did you have dinner last last night? La segunda, ¿verdad? Sí. Otra sería, did you go to work yesterday? Y la última, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Eh, si gusta, hacemos la pregunta y la respuesta corta, tal vez no sale. La empiezo. Did you watch television last night? Yes, I did. ¿Qué está? Y no, I did not. Sí, ¿verdad? Yo no y yo sí, ¿verdad? Sí. Bien, la segunda. Did you have dinner last night? Yes, I did. No, I did not. La tercera, Tatiana. Se nos fue, Tatiana. Se nos fue. Uh -huh. Quizás se fue el, el internet, así me pasó un día. ¿me? Bueno, sigo. Entonces sería, did you go to work yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yes. Contracta, go to work. Work yesterday, así. Sí. Go to work. Go to work. No sé si go to work. Go to work. Pero work yesterday. Yes. I am the. No, I am the not. Eso lo voy a preguntar al teacher que tengo duda. Que este contacto, este contacto, creo que dice por Word y por the models. Mm, sería bueno. Eh, lo puede hacer desde de ahorita. Eh, ahí donde dice el. Ayuda, está en inglés, parece. Tiene me quiero ver. As for help. Tiene. Lo encontró donde dice more de Isai. No me sale a mí. Me ha pedido asistencia. Vamos a esperar a ver qué. Yo creo que sí está con nosotros. No, no lo veo. Teacher. Ah, teacher. Eh, una pregunta. Para ver la pronunciación de la... Sería la tercera. One, two, three. Did you go to work yesterday? ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Tiene el micrófono apagado, teacher. Teacher.
drink coffee. Mute the microphone, teacher. Bueno, esperemos entonces. Uh, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Teacher. Vamos a esperar, a ver. Sí, esperemos. All right, guys, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check the activity. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Let's look yes. at this one, number two. Did you have dinner last night? Excellent. Did you have dinner? Last night. Last night. Perfect. The next one. Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? Teacher, a question. Yeah. Number number three. Mm -hmm. Este. Is did you go to work or did you go to work? Oh, you can say it both ways. You did you go to work or did you go to work yesterday? Both pronunciations are okay. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one. Did they, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Excellent. Perfect. Ding, ding, ding. All right, guys. Time's up. We will continue tomorrow. Please try to advance on the platform. And we will resume tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good Enjoy night, your good evening. Night, bye. Good night, good night, good night teacher. Bye bye. Have a good Thank Wednesday. You See you tomorrow. Enjoy your bed. <laughs> I will. I am very tired. Okay. I was. Uh, ring on the angels. <laughs> I was lifting very heavy today. Okay. So my body is ouch. <laughs> okay, bye -bye. see you, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> see you.